this is Mundan Raghavan and this video we are going to do the proxy setup for JMeter so that we can record and play back our scripts using the JMeter. Generally when you set up the proxy server between you and the internet, the request follows through the proxy server then the internet, the same way response flows through the proxy server to you. Now proxy server is able to read both requests and responses. In order to do the same thing with the HTTPS protocol, which is the secured way of communication, it will be having the encryption and decryption so that we need to have the digital certificate. That means that the proxy server will be creating the digital certificate and it has to be installed manually inside your browser so that it considers the proxy server as a safer one so that the proxy server can decrypt all the requests and responses. It is for the safety purpose. More on the digital certificate, we have the separate video, we can go through that. However, this is only the digital certificate which makes sure you are interacting with the genuine website rather than the fake website. Now coming to the point, you set up the proxy server in your system so that it will be considering the proxy server first of all. Then you will be installing the digital certificate so that you will be having the communication even for the HTTPS protocol of applications. So now we are going to do two things. First one is setting up the proxy server or proxy settings in your system. Second one, we will install the, let's say the digital certificate. In all these situations, we are creating the proxy server and JMeter will be listening to the proxy server. Listening in the sense, it's not directly listening to the server. Inside the server, it will be listening to the particular port. That means that your proxy server port number and JMeter port number should be same. Otherwise, the communication will not happen. So with that point, we will try to do the same thing here. Go to the Firefox and try to go to the settings. Sorry, go to the settings and look for proxy. So you are setting up the system proxy and manual proxy configuration has to be selected and type the local host and port number WA8 and HTTPS should be enabled. Click OK. So by doing this action, you are telling you have your local setup inside your browser you are telling my proxy server is already there and it is running on the port number w8 w8 jmeter will be running the proxy server so that you will be interacting with the proxy server see now we have done for only the firefox but if you just to confirm that one in general way you just type proxy settings in your system and go to the use proxy server edit here you can see already it has been added. So that means that even though you do it for the browser, it is setting up the proxy settings inside your system. Okay, the first step is done. And second one, now we go to the JMeter. And last time we opened the JMeter, we saw the test plan by default. Now we will add recorder. For adding the recorder, you will go to the non-test elements, look for the test script recorder. And here you can see the port number as well. So that means that even the tool is listening to the same server, proxy server at the port number W8. So in system level, now you told whenever the request goes or response comes, you go through the proxy server and you are telling now in the JMeter, you try to get all the inputs or the request and response details whenever I do the recording start from the port number W8. So since both matches, the communication happens very perfectly and the recording can be done. So now we have seen the total why do we need the proxy setup and what is the proxy server? What are the two actions you will do in your system settings or it can be in the browser level and second one, what are the settings you will be making sure inside your JMeter for the port number. And now if you click on the start, it is telling using record controller where you want to save your scripts. Let's say I will be adding to the same test plan. Now click on start. Now it's telling root CA certificate has to be installed. And this is only valid for seven days. Now just we will have the snapshot here so that you can read it again. So you can install it by yourself to the certificate, I mean to the browser using the same certificate. And it can be found in your JMeter bin directory. We already there in the JMeter bin factory. Now we can see the new file called created Apache JMeter temporary root CA dot CRT which is a certificate. Now go to the internet or let's say the browser sorry and Firefox now you just type for certificate 
and look for VA certificates go to the authorities certificate authorities which stands for CA certificate and here you click on the import and go to the JMeter bin folder again look for the CRT the same file has been created click open sorry select and click open already it has been installed for me but for your case it will be installed again which is the JMeter root CA for recording here you can see and install only if it is yours so this is a warning message why because if you are giving permission for the proxy server if somebody gets that same thing it will be the problem for the security concerns now we have done setup for the digital certificate also now we are good to record it so in next video we will try to record it by using the JMeter because we have set up everything for the proxy and the digital certificates so this is all about this video so thanks all thanks for watching and have a great day